This is the equivalent annual cost video for MassCelebrity.com. To get there, you can type equivalent annual cost. So the calculator takes two items, goods or machines, whatever is in your problem, and you enter the investment cost, the expected lifetime, and the maintenance cost. Now, expected lifetime and maintenance cost are per period, which generally is on an annual basis, but you want to keep everything on the same unit of time. Finally, you enter your cost of capital. You don't need a percent sign, so this represents 5%. When you're ready, you press Calculate EAC. So the first couple lines here sum up your problem. First thing we do is calculate V, and V is just 1 over 1 plus the cost of capital. So 1 over 1.05, and that's this. Next, we go to our discount factor for machine item or good number 1. And that's just 1 minus V raised to the asset lifetime, which you enter, divided by the cost of capital. So above here, we calculated V as in 0 0.9524. We run this through, and we get this as our discount factor. Now, a nice little thing we show here is also how to get this in Microsoft Excel. So next, we calculate the discount on investment for item 1, and that's just the original investment cost that you entered, divided by this present value factor. And we get this. Finally, we could calculate the equivalent annual cost for item one. And that's just the discounted investment, which you got here, plus the maintenance cost, which you entered above in the beginning of the problem. So here's our equivalent annual cost for item one. Now, for item two, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did as item one, except we're going to enter the asset lifetime of item two, the investment cost of item two, etc., etc. And we get an equivalent annual cost for item two as well. So when we're done, we compare the two values. And because machine two had a lower equivalent annual cost, that's the better investment. So that's pretty much it. We also have a generate practice problem. Now, if you were running this, you wanted to do a new problem, you just change these numbers. If you run out of problems and you want to keep your skills sharp, you just press this. Generate practice problem. As you can see, it generated a random values for item A and item B, as well as a random cost of capital. And when you're ready, you just press calculate EAC, and it goes through and solves that problem. So EAC1, EAC2, and we're good. So that's it. If you have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.